So I thought this might be a good time to do a little chit chat. Sorry if I'm like super cut off or not really focused because I am driving. Okay, so I know a lot of, or a, yeah, a good amount of people keep asking me for an update on my PCAT exam. And I tried to film that, but I just felt like it wasn't, every time, I tried to film it twice actually, but I just felt like when I would re-watch it, it wouldn't be enough. Like I had a lot more to say and I didn't answer even my own questions well. That My questions, I pretty much just thought about the questions that I wanted to know that I was um, asking for the exam and I just felt like I didn't answer it in a good way so I'm still working on that just give me some time because I know it's really important I also started school I, um, I for those of you who don't know I am a transfer student from community college I'm not in that traditional four year route so yeah but I am a senior now I hope I'm not super cut off because I'm using like the steering wheel to hold up the camera to talk so half the screen's probably cutting me out but um yes I'm about to enter a tunnel this is my pretty much my second week of school and um I also started working uh in a pharmacy setting so I've been I have had a, a lot of stuff going on I've been training and you know, going to school and yeah, uh, most pharmacy schools don't require a bachelor's degree to apply to their school. Some do require it and a lot prefer it. So at first I was planning to just do the prerequisites required to apply for pharmacy school but then when I finished my prerequisites about, I want to say it was about two years ago, I just didn't feel ready. Like. I didn't plan ahead to take my PCAT so it was kind of too late to apply anyways and I would have had waited a year to apply and I just didn't, going to school for so long I didn't feel right to just stop school all along so I was like okay I'll just go get my bachelor's which I never really, I never really planned to do that until pretty much last minute. And yeah, so that's why I ended up transferring and I've been at my university for a year and a half now. So yeah, um, I, I, I'm glad I did do this route though because most, I found out that, I don't know if this is the right statistics, but 95% of those who do get accepted into pharmacy schools do have a bachelor's degree. I mean that it might be a lot lower back then, but I think so I think it is a big advantage. So I'm glad I'm doing that. But just just to have to, you don't want to end up going back to school like way later to get your bachelor's degree if it's like preferred or required. Because I heard uh, one of my friends' aunt, she's like a nurse and. Um, She's like a charge nurse or something like that. And yeah, she didn't it wasn't required for her to get her bachelor's when she finished school, but now like 10 years later she had to go back to school and get a bachelor's degree because they require her to have it now or maybe it was preferred or something. So, I think it's good to do that. And, you know, I don't know. I think it does look more competitive when you apply cuz you know, like pharmacy schools will see that yeah, you care about your education, you you know, you didn't do what was just expected, which is the prerequisites, and you went out of your way and took more classes than needed. Mainly I started this channel too was because when I transferred to university from community college, I miss my, my community college so much, like I just forget about the memories sometimes. And it's not like the community college setting, but it's more of the pe people I met, like the study habits, all that, you know, like I felt like I, I did a lot and I didn't get to document that so I just wanted to document my senior year in undergrad before I move on to pharmacy school and such.
So three dollars for an hour of parking. Oh, I got the last parking spot. There's cars behind me and everything. Isn't it? 